Nathan snitch on me to his father. This is Nathan's father. This is a message to let you know that attempts to thunder and blackmail my son will, will be met with many lures. So this is a final polite warning. Wow. So basically Nathan, I forgot that Nathan owned the school. His parents owned this damn school and now it's getting me, oh my God, a private number. So this is Nathan. This asshole is Nathan right here. And this is his father. Nathan, father, son, father. God damn it. This is so, I hope it doesn't bring me any more trouble. Lord, Nathan's family owns my dorm? Yeah, they do, honey. And it's not looking great. Lauren, what are you doing here? Oh, nothing. Ooh, I forgot he got punched. For a call? <clears throat> I already took the call. Anyway, I wanted to rap about that action yesterday. By the way, thank you for stepping in. You were pretty badass, Warren. I owe you. Even though you got oh, jumped, yes, but so. I got knocked on my ass by that dick. I'm some personal superhero. You I'm are. Real every day. And I always need a sidekick. You stood up to a bully, and it was awesome. Even though you left me with said bully and ran off with that girl, she's pretty punk rock. How do you know her? <coughs> Just An a old pirate. Friend, Chloe Price. We haven't seen each other in a while. I bet you were glad to see her blast up in that truck like a rock star. Which begs the question, why is Nathan Prescott getting psycho on you? Man, don't even talk about him, man. Not, not his, not him. His father even texted me. Let me tell you the whole story. Ooh. I busted him in the bathroom yesterday with a gun. I'll give you the story later. Principal Wells is taking care of it now. I hope. No, he's not. You're fucking weak. Like that bizarro snowfall yesterday. Speaking of dystopia, that drive-in is having a '70s Planet of the Apes marathon. Let's go ape. Yes, that's exactly what I need. I love those old school ape films. Well, that was easier than I thought. <coughs> cool. I'll text you the info. I don't know. Let's go. Let's just go. Let's just go. David talking to Nathan cannot be a good thing. This has something to do with. Is he Kate. snitching on? Really? Or He's Rachel. telling everybody what I did. Let's have a chat with Nathan though. I I gotta ask because of Kate, Kate's sake. Wait. Oh, okay. Let's not and just walk to the bus. I mean, okay. I was hoping to talk with Nathan, but alrighty then. But yeah, I already pre-ordered um. The next one that's coming out on August 31st. So I'll look forward to that as well when I finish this up. Um, hopefully I finish this up before that comes out. Is that the lighthouse?
try to take it from me. The heck? I wouldn't dream of it. Be a millionaire. Hope nobody steals my Why is it so deep? Oh time. my god. The diner looks that? exactly the same. Oh. Old guy. Woman. Nah, I don't talk to strangers. Nah, <laughs> save our city. Ooh, interesting. Good morning. Talk Looks like you're ready to catch some <coughs> mysterious fish. I wish, young gal. Arcadia Bay just isn't the same fishing town I grew up in. Hmm? Has the town changed much? By Neptune's beard, it has. Seems like a lifetime ago when I was king of the harbor. King of the harbor? You did pretty good to have lasted this long. Oh, the fish used to jump onto my boat until the Prescotts and their finance fiends snapped up harbor rights. Prescott's family. Mm. Let's Prescott's talk about the Prescott's family. Power. They might rename did the town you know Prescott Bay. That his that father messaged me. Huh. They own my school. Do you know Do them? You know them? <clears throat> Do good for my working kind. But I know them through their bad deeds. Let's not get downcast. I hear the fish calling <clears throat> for Bali High. Never forget that old fishermen never die. We just smell that way. I'd love to learn more, but I have to get going. Happy fishing out there. Chloe. All right, she's gonna be late, so I can have time to talk to these two people. I guess. I mean, I don't. No time for chit chat. Very right, good. I'm a millionaire. Yep. Oh. Got my lottery ticket right here. Ooh. Bus so I can cash it in. Won the lotto. Hi. Look at my man. You look lost. Close. Do you know if the bus has come yet? The online schedule isn't working. I just got off the school bus, but I'm sure the regular bus is coming too. Oh, that's a relief. <laughs> I can't be late for this job interview. I can't believe I have to take a bus all the way to Newport just to find a second job. Are things Girl, that let bad me tell here? you about them. Where are things good? I can't even. You got to stories. Live I here. got stories too. Well, good luck. Thanks. I sure <laughs> need it. <coughs> got me choking. This game is gonna kill me. Um, I'm guessing the diner is right here. Man, that smell of breakfast and the sound of clanging silverware. Now oh, that brings back memories. Chloe and I loved the parade. Good lord. Talk about apocalyptic. Yes, let's just sit down. <clears throat> and there she is, a lovely young woman. How are you doing, Max? Hi, Joyce. It's nice to see you again. You look the same. <laughs> like I'm still a waitress at Two Whales after all these years. No, like, you still look pretty. Nice save, kid. You're still smart. But I wish you'd been here to help save Chloe. She got busted yesterday smoking out. Again. I know. Chloe told me that her stepfather hit her. I am sorry that was your introduction to David. I hope you get to know him on your terms, not Chloe's. He's a good man, he just... Yeah, I'm sure he is since you married him, but... Don't be so harsh on Chloe. It's good you're here. I was hoping you could be a good influence in her life now. I will be. Promise. I know things were hard for you and <coughs> Chloe. I feel bad I didn't call. Now my folks are in Seattle and I'm all alone at Blackwell. It's 
my karma. You did the right thing. Karma's a bitch, man. You moved forward with your a life. real slut. I did after William passed on. <laughs> Chloe. Chloe chose to stay angry. Anyway, I hope we see more of you. Chloe, Chloe just being Chloe, again. I guess. That's normal. Joyce, I am so sorry about William. <coughs> I have great memories of him. I'm glad, Max. That was his gift to us. Wonderful memories. Even if Chloe doesn't understand yet. <laughs> Chloe understands. She just needs time. I know that sucks for you. <coughs> she hit all the phases. Expulsion, running away, drugs, bad boys, tattoos, piercings, blue hair. <laughs> now she's got to rebel against her stepfather. I see why, I mean. Why? What did Chloe tell you? <laughs> well, Chloe texted me that David slapped her yesterday. He feels awful. And he will be punished. But Chloe does push David, and it's not fair. He <coughs> pays his dues in war. He does care about her, along with all the students at Blackwell. That's no excuse to hit a girl. He's an adult. I don't like it either, Max. David swore it would never happen again. He's true to his word. I just want us to be a family soon. I guess... I guess it's all about time. I think you're right, Joyce. So, now let's get down to the nitty-gritty. What do you want to eat? I was dreaming about your bacon omelet. Now finish your coffee. Ooh, what a demand. The only thing that's changed on the menu are the prices. <coughs> really? It went up? Okay, home style eggs and bacon, $5.50. Let me see what I ordered. I ordered the omelet with bacon, so where is that? Fresh up oatmeal, no. I don't see it. Is it free? <laughs> oh yeah, Chloe's paying for it. It's all good. I mean, I I I'm just want to check the price. Oh, there it is. The Bigfoot bacon omelet. That is 650. What's the other one? It told me if I want the waffles. I should got the waffles, man. The waffles is cheap. Oh, well, I'm not paying for this. So I don't bacon care. Bacon omelet for the young lady staff. Bacon at 12 o'clock hot. I love the delicious anticipation of breakfast. <coughs> Nerd graffiti. Warren must have been here. Can I get some beer and bacon before I die? This is a diner, not a bar. This is like fourth dimensional deja vu. <coughs> I think it's like going back in time. Bacon. The lighthouse looks so mysterious. I wish I could stay in this moment forever. I guess I actually can now. But then it wouldn't be a moment. Incoming. Is that mine? Yay! I can hear your stomach rumbling from here, Max. Here, you'll love this. I'm drooling like a baby. Still can't believe you're a woman. When I look at pictures of Chloe, ugh. Speaking, Speaking of Chloe. Of the devil. <laughs> <coughs> Mom and Max together again. And Chloe looking for a free meal. You put your whole damn college fund on your tab. I'm treating Chloe for breakfast. No, you're not. Whoa, 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 whoa. This whoa, whoa, whoa. is my treat. We are to you for coming back to rescue my daughter. Nobody needs to rescue me. Unless you set your room on fire, so <coughs> now. Oh, God, here it comes. Didn't you and Sergeant Pepper already read me the riot act last night? Call him David if you don't want to be lectured. You only get one damn slice of bacon a day. Ooh. 
Oh. You guys are still the same. <coughs> Another reason to blow this town. What is this shit on the jukebox? Now that that's out of the way. <coughs> Let's talk about your superpower. I don't have any explanation. And I can't explain why I saw that crazy fucking tornado. Come on, that's just a daydream. I want proof you can rewind time. This is all happening so fast. We'll start slow. Right here, now. Mm, I can tell you every single thing you have in your pockets. Do you have x-ray vision, dude? I don't even know what's in my pockets. Let me see. Okay, Max. Impress me. Uh, okay. Your car keys. Duh, way too easy. I need details. Describe my keychain. Mm -hmm. I don't know. I guess. You definitely have a razor blade keychain. That was so wrong, Max. Okay, psychic <laughs> girl. Let me show you what's actually in my pockets. That was beyond epic fail. You even made me want to believe you. Okay, Max. Study every item carefully and don't forget anything. She got a warning ticket. All right. No, right here. Why can't I just... So, this is me telling you what's inside your pockets. Okay. Okay, Max. I'm hella ready. A parking ticket. You know me well. But, what is the exact time I was busted? 10.34 a.m. Booyah! Max can tell time! Even a broken clock is right twice a day. Whatever the hell that means. Hmm. Some money. Clearly I'm rich as fuck. How much do I have? 86 cents. That's right, living large in Arcadia Bay. So that was cool. Show me more. I'm pretty sure you have cigarettes on you. Yes, you know I'm a smoker. <coughs> but how many cigarettes? Seven cigarettes. A superpower that allows you to count cigarettes. Cool. Amazing. Something else in my pockets? Your car keys. Duh, way too easy. I need details. Describe my keychain. A cute robot panda keychain. Not bad, Super Max. <coughs> Amaze balls. I literally just got chills all Amaze over my balls. neck. Amaze balls. You have powers. I'll take that crap off the table, Chloe. Sure, Mom. <coughs> How's the food, Max? Better than I remembered. Very good save. Man, I'm hungry like the wolf. Clearly. I am freaking out about what just happened. You, you have to show me more. Something way cooler so I will believe you without any doubt. I will predict uh... the future. No way. Now, pay attention to everything that happens in the next few moments, so you can dazzle Chloe with your mad power. Oops. Did you break another cup? Really? No refill for you. Shh. And now I gotta take this call and leave my breakfast. Hey, where is my party? You're a dick. Don't slap me, bitch. Take your fight club outside. He started it. I'm finishing it. Okay. That's the best song I've this heard is yet. sure the hell better than that other garbage. 
I think our jukebox is headed for Davy Jones's locker. So, what are you waiting for? <coughs> Oops. Did you break another cup? Oh, wait, really? Go, Mom. No refill for you. Shh. Well, now I gotta take this call and leave my breakfast. Hey, where is my partner? You called it. <laughs> he's off to go bust some skaters. You're a dick. Don't slap me, bitch. Take your fight club outside. He started it. I'm finishing it. Trevor and Justin must be in love. You predicted a cockroach on the jukebox? I pledge allegiance <coughs> to Max and the power for which she stands. This isn't a toy, Chloe. I do have to be careful how I use it. Screw that! Of course it's a toy! The best toy ever? You can bang anyone with no strings attached, rewind time, and boom! It's like it never happened! Grow up. Maybe you made a move on me and I would never know. Yes, that's what I did. You can rewind time, Max. That's fucking insane. We have to play. I don't have time. You did not just say that. Uh, check out your nose. Too much blow? Hey, are you okay? Too much excitement. See what happens when we hook up again? Then, let's go to one of my secret lairs and fully test your power. You need a sidekick to guide you. Okay, girl wonder. Show me the way to Chloe's cave. Okay, Supergirl, let's go to my secret place. Don't even answer. We have places to go and pull to do. Come on, before Mom starts some more shit, let's bail. It's Kate Marsh from Blackwell. Big whoop. You don't call me once in five years and now you're all over some biatch you see every day at school? Whoa, 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 whoa. So go ahead, chat up Kate Marsh from Blackwell. I've got other people to hang out with too. Man, answer the fucking call, man. Hey, Kate. What's up? Please, don't let your best friend get in the way. You okay? I promise, Kate. I won't forget. <coughs> I swear. Just do your homework and don't stress. I really don't think we should go into this right now. I'll call you later, okay? <coughs> Thanks, Max. If you'd rather chill with Kate, please, go ahead. You are ridiculous. I'm chilling with you, okay? For now, let's rock. <sighs> Sucks that Chloe and Joyce got into an argument. Man, they always go into the argument. That's not anything new. When she first got here, they got into an argument. Like, come on. Who's that? to get pissed at me this week. That depends on you and how well you do in this phase of the test. Welcome to American Rust, my home away from hell. Raw and rough. It suits you. Max, do you know how awesome this is? I get my best friend back and she's also super sized. You don't know for how long. Exactly why it's time to have fun. David might be a douche, but you did steal his gun. Is everybody armed in Arcadia Bay now? Only the ones who shouldn't be. Like <laughs> right? Dildo. Until now. I'm not in the revolution yet, Che. You are the revolution, Max. So we should figure out how to best use and abuse your power with a test. Drink? Yuck. <laughs> you are so good. <clears throat> you haven't changed a bit. Okay, let's do this. Can you find five bottles while I prep the shooting range? Beer and guns? <laughs> nice combo. You can handle it. Now go find us five bottles, pretty please. Don't tell me she wanted me to f go see where they are and predict where they are. That's too much, man. I already filled up the a tent for that crap. Every car has its own tale and history. Okay.
beyond repair. <coughs> Rest in peace. I wonder how many generations of fashion went through that washing machine. I'm not sure. Oh, I've run into a fence. This is the scariest thing here. Um, is it in here? This looks like a graffiti museum for Chloe and Rachel. I bet I can find out more about Rachel here. I can't see Chloe playing with makeup. Rachel songs. I wonder if Chloe would ever make me a mixtape. They really were besties. That could have been me instead of Rachel. Hello, bottle number one. Ouch. I want to die. Jeez. Who wrote this? They would have gone all the way to Los Angeles for a rave. Looks fun. I remember I wanted to go to a rave. Now we're officially a trio. <coughs> we just have to find Rachel. I don't want to intrude, but I was here. All this rusted metal makes me feel serene. Am I morbid or just goth? Thanks for the tip. Ah, <laughs> uh, there's one. How many I gotta find? Oh, only three bottles left. Five of bottles, I guess. One. Cute. They are just so cute. Wow, sir. That looks exactly like the same dough from my tornado vision. That dough is the perfect photo op. Looks like it's not even there, like you can see through it. Huh. Oh, this. I ain't gonna sit. So look at the freaking finer bottles. This was an old school punk shirt. <coughs> hmm. 
Hmm. If I was a bottle, where would I be? That's where I came from. Oh, poor thing. They left you here all alone. What should I do? Oh, move it. <clears throat> Maybe I can use this to reach the bottle. Nice. Three down, two more to go. Talk about finding a bottle in a haystack. It's hard to believe that was once on the road, filled with dozens of students. <laughs> All right. No way. I totally remember going there when I was a kid. I loved the hush puppies. Now the sign is just Arcadia Bay junk. Is that like some kind of like Long John Silver's nope, restaurant? I don't want to go there. Those shells look fresh. I like how she got me looking for these bottles. She's just standing there. Yeah, at least help me. care about you 